You probably have watched so many videos here on YouTube, like how to change your life and how to make a million dollars in a month and just like all these crazy videos. Sure, you can you can fix your self-concept. You can manifest all you want. You can think in a positive way, but I am not gonna give you all the BS fluff. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I did to change my life and make it more fun. If you feel like your life looks like this, alarm clock goes off, you go for a run, you make some coffee, you rush to work, you work all day, you rush home, you make dinner, you turn on Netflix, you go on Bumble, then you go to bed. You might feel stuck, you might feel bored, you might feel like you just have so much more in you, like so much more potential inside of you. But for some reason, you're stuck. You don't know what to do. You don't like what you're doing every day. You're just like getting by. You know, when someone says to you like, how's your day going? You just say good. But inside you're like, what? what is going on? And this is not where I expected I would be in life, okay? Or maybe it's just like, things are just good. Like they're good enough. You're just fine and, and everything's just okay. It's like, what if someone ever asked me that and I constantly replied back and said like oh yes I'm good or like yes how are you doing or I'm doing good okay and it's like you're almost a robot you're like a robot responding to everyone in the world and everyone else is a robot responding right back to you so it's like who is really having true conversations it's like everyone's in the matrix in this video I am going to teach you my secret trick that I have literally created and implemented into my life a couple of times the method that I crafted is called the flip the screen script method. So this is going to change your life and I am not kidding. Okay. This changed my life so many times. Okay. The first step is to acknowledge that you are feeling bored. You're feeling like this is not made for me. Like something isn't adding up right. Okay. The first step is just to acknowledge. Okay. I think anyone could do that. And the fact that you're watching this video, I think you're already at step one. So good job. Round of applause. I'm happy for you. Step number two is to get very specific on what you desire the most and why you need to make sure you have the why behind what you're desiring. I desire to have Thai food for dinner tonight. Why? Because I don't want to cook tonight. I just want to relax. That's my why. Okay, that's great. That's one example. Whatever your thing is, just plug it in. So step number three is to create three different hypothetical, no pressure situations in which you're actually going to make that desire come to life. How are you actually going to make this happen? And the whole key is here, this is all hypothetical, okay? Whatever comes to your mind right away, or like bubbles to the surface is probably what you actually really desire. Don't listen to me, like you know what you want, okay? So just think of that thing. So like with the Thai food example, it's like, okay, I could call the Thai restaurant down the street and they could deliver. I could walk to the Thai restaurant and then they could deliver. Or I could call my friend to go pick it up. It's all hypothetical. They all would work. Each path would work. This could work, that could work. You're just throwing ideas out, okay? No one's saying no, no one's saying yes, you're just getting it out there. So you're bridging the gap between what you're desiring and then what you're trying to get. And your, your brain is thinking of that bridge, like how do we get from point A to B? Oh, I'm gonna give you three examples. Like, let's let's go. Like, that's basically what you're doing with this step. Then step number four is to hang up your three hypothetical scenarios on the wall and stare at it. If you're desiring something a little bit more extreme, for example, you desire a new job that pays you 20K more than you're making right now. Okay, whatever that is, throw it up on the wall and I want you to stare at it. Every time you pass by it in your apartment or home, I want you to read the scenarios and I want you to like visualize those things coming true. And then ask yourself like, which one sits well? Let your gut instinct guide you. Like that is the key here. It's your intuition. Like that stuff you gotta be in line with. You know what I mean? Like don't touch the piece of paper, just stare at them and just be like, okay, option one, two, three, like, what can I do, right? That's kind of the key. You wanna make sure that you can, you're looking at the ideas and you're visualizing yourself doing these things. Does that make sense? Number five, after you have decided, okay, of those three hypothetical situations, one's gotta feel really good. One's gotta feel like, dang, I could probably do that. Whichever one that is, you have to flip the script, okay? That is step five, flipping the script, which is literally what the theory is called. So what does that entail? You literally proceed forward with whatever action step you just created created for yourself. You just do it. You close your eyes, you flip the script, you do it. You just go for it. Okay. So if it's the Thai food, you close your eyes and then you just dial the number and you're like, Hey, listen, I want pad Thai extra spicy. Let's go. Each of the action steps that you've created should literally give you a clear path to your desire. So if you need to get a headhunter and then you need to tell your boss, you're going to quit and then you're going to negotiate your salary and then you're going to get a new job. Like those are the steps. That's it. You just do it. You have to flip the script. You can't just sit back and be like, Oh my God, when is my life going to change? Like, when am I going to travel the world? When am I gonna fall in love? Like, girl, 
It's gonna happen when you flip the script. You are in control of your life. You can do anything you wanna do. And these are just like the action steps so it basically sets you up for success to like push yourself forward. Because many times if you're afraid to do something, it's because you're afraid to take that first step because you might not even know what that first step is. So if you kind of like give yourself a very clear outline of like, I'm just brainstorming. Like I don't have to do these things. It's a hypothetical situation. When you think about it like that, it makes it much more comfortable for you to like dip your foot in the water and be like, oh, like it's kind of cold, but like I can handle this. And then you dip your whole leg in the water. And then before you know it, you just jump in. And when you jump into the water, that is when you're flipping the script. You just go for it. You literally plunge into your desires. And then you're like, whoa, you're, then you proceed to step six and step six is you just achieved a new chapter of your life. Like, congratulations, you did it. The thing that you've wanted for so long is now yours. Do you see that? The moment you flip the script, the moment you literally just swallow your fear, new life chapter achieved. You're gonna feel a ton of resistance when you do flip the script and when you actually do enter into your new life chapter, you're gonna be like, oh my God, is this right for me? Like everyone's gonna be pulling you backwards. You have to be so firm with what you want because your intuition has already guided you and you already know what you're doing. So just keep going forward. Know that everyone that comes in your way or anything that just like pops up, those are all resistance resistance factors and you're just going to push them aside because you're going to be like, listen, I'm stronger than that. I don't need to listen to that. My intuition said, do this. So I'm going to go do this. And I'm flipping the script and changing my life. Let's go. If you need some inspiration, when I was in college, I was studying marketing for the longest time. And I remember I was like, you know, this is fun. Like I enjoy it or whatever, but I was worried I wasn't going to make enough money for where I was at at that point in my life. I remember I was like talking to my family, talking to my dad. And he's like, listen, you could change your major to finance. And I was like, what? So the first thing I did was, okay, hypothetical situation, like what would I do to change my major? Okay, I would have to take more finance classes. Okay, I would have to go to my like advisor and change my major and like declare a new major. I'm like, okay. I came up with three different scenarios about how I could do it. And then I picked one and then I just flipped the script. And now I, then I started studying finance. And that is how I got into the world of finance and started making money and like doing all that. And one day I was, I was a marketing major. The next day I was a finance major. This is kind of like a life update too, if like you've been keeping up with me. I've always wanted to travel the world. I've always started a lot of side hustles because I wanted to make enough money to finance my trips. And I like to travel in a more like luxurious bougie style. Like I don't like budget friendly travel. I told myself, I'm like, you know what? Working the nine to five, not for me. I'd rather just build my own business and create my own like multiple sources of passive income. So I was like, let's do it. Like, let's make this the next flip the script, right? Because life is only interesting if you're fully going towards your passions. And if you don't feel like you are living a dream every single day, then something is off. Okay. And like, you got to flip the script. I need to go travel the world and I don't want to work a nine to five. Why? Because I want to be free. I want to, I want to inspire people. I want to live by my purpose. Okay. I want to experience the world, new cultures, new people, new food. That's what I want. That's what I'm meant to do. That's it. Okay, great. So then what I did was actually create six different hypothetical scenarios about how I would do this. And some of them included like uh, quitting my job and then just becoming like a digital nomad. Another one was buying real estate and just having like passive income come from the rents. And what I came up with was the one that really sit with my gut intuition was, okay, I'm gonna go travel the world and then I am going to quit my job. Like that's it, I'm gonna be done. I basically just lean on all of my side hustles. There's so many different ways that you can make your dreams come true. And the thing is when you start opening your mouth and like actually execute and like flip the script, which is literally what I did like a couple days ago, I was so nervous about like telling my company that I work for right now, like, listen, I'm gonna be traveling to Europe and I'm just like doing this thing. And and like, I'm just following my, my dreams. And they were so understanding of what I wanted to do. And they're like, that's fine. Like you do what you gotta do. Obviously they're not happy about it. But the key here is you need to trust your gut intuition so much that if you fell on your ass and you let go of everything, what would be left? I tell myself that all the time. And I was like, listen, I the only thing I want is to travel to Europe. This is the situation. For the time being it's like I quit my job I'm done like I'm not going to be getting paid it's like I'm leaning on myself now 100% I'm leaning on myself all of a sudden everything clicks this is the next chapter of my life it's like whoa it's happening but I want to let you know that when you do enter into that new that new chapter of life you will experience resistance there are going to be people that will pull you back there's going to be situations new opportunities that just like randomly like 
appear and you're like, wait a second, what? Because all these things are trying to pull you back and test you. Can you handle the pressure? Are you ready to take on the next chapter of your life? And if you're not ready, then the resistance will pull you backwards. Okay. You have to have a strong base, a strong foundation and be like in tune with your intuition and know that like what you're doing is going to push you forward. It's going to change your life. You're flipping the script. Like when you flip the script, it's not like you're you're looking at the same script. You're looking at a new script. That's the whole point. I would really just recommend leaning into that discomfort, leaning into the the fear, because your body's protection mechanism is going to kickstart when you when you actually flip the script. You take a chance. You risk your life. You do your thing, and you're gonna feel like, oh my god, I'm throwing everything away. Like this is the end. Oh my god. Like I can't quit my job. I can't travel the world. I can't like break up with my partner oh my god but it's like when you actually do the thing when you do the thing that scares you the most you'll realize that the thing that you were scared of the most is probably the uncertainty the thing that's on the other side of when you actually do the thing for me when I quit my job I was like I don't know what's on the other side like what's going on whenever you enter into a new chapter of life there's going to be a ton of goodbyes that are really painful you're going to experience like a wave of emotion and that's going to like really make you reconsider flipping the script and entering into this new chapter and like leaving your whole life behind. And then you're probably gonna reconsider like, am I on the right path? Like, is this the move for me? Am I supposed to do this? Your intuition is gonna tell you, yes, keep going, keep following the path, keep the faith, just keep going, that's it. And when you listen to your heart, you listen to your intuition, you're gonna realize that like, dang, when you actually do the thing that scares you the most and you lean into uncertainty, your whole life is gonna change and it's gonna be so much more exciting and it's gonna be more in line with what you're truly passionate about and what you truly desire the most. And that's why you're even embarking on the slip the script method in the first place. Well, I had a super stable job in finance. I was making a lot of money for my standard and you know, I was able to literally do whatever I, I wanted to do on the weekends and go on fun trips and do all these things. But for some reason, the security almost made me feel like I was claustrophobic, like I was being suffocated. And all I wanted was freedom. All I wanted was to travel the world and to embark on my my dreams, my passions. And so as a result, I was like, okay, Europe, I wanna travel to Europe, I wanna see the world. But I was like, I, I have to leave behind my life here in Chicago, like my luxury apartment and like my, my really stable finance job. I need to leave these things behind in order to flip the script, in order to take a chance and see what's on the other side, see what's in Europe, see what my heart feels when I fly across the country and follow my dreams of doing YouTube full time and going full force with my coaching business. Those are the things that actually make me excited. You know, when you go on a, a trip while you're on vacation, it's like you eat whatever you want. You just feel so happy. It's kind of like vacation mode where everything's just like good. Well, I'm like, you know what? When I come home from vacation, I always feel terrible. I'm like, I just want to go back. I want to like be happy again. And it's like, wait a second. Why can't you have that vacation mode feeling all the time? Why can't that feeling of like anything is possible? Life is amazing. Why can't that be your every day? And so that's what I kept telling myself. And I'm like, listen, I know like that is like what I'm what I'm striving for. That's what I'm, I'm going towards. And I want to inspire other people to grasp that within their own life as well. If this video can teach you anything, I hope that it teaches you this to not be afraid to take a chance, to not be afraid to open up your mouth, tell people what you want and be unapologetic about it, to not be afraid to go after your dreams, to travel across the country, to not be afraid to wait for someone else to go with you, to follow your heart, to listen to your gut and intuition. Because at the end of the day, when you flip the script and you're not afraid to just throw away your entire life and everything you've worked for, and you actually just do what you actually want to do and follow your heart and like actually find true happiness and like fulfillment in life. When you flip the scripts after doing all that, I'm not kidding, you're gonna realize like, dang, the juice is worth the squeeze. Like this is totally worth it. Okay, so that is it for this video. I will give you more updates on my journey to Europe. I'm gonna be going there solo and I'm so excited for a couple of months and it's gonna be awesome. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel, you like this video and turn the notification bell on because there's gonna be a lot of vlogs when I go to Europe and it's gonna be absolutely amazing. Okay, so that's it for this video. I will see you in this one right here. Thanks so much for watching guys, bye.